is interesting and hilarious. I met him. Well, the funniest part was I met. Oh God, no, he'll kill me. Good. Too bad. Um, I met him the day we tested, and apparently after we tested, they went. They were they were all looking at all the tests, and they decided on me. And they were they were at the network, and they went. We love her, but we're not so sure about him. <laughs> and that really went on for a little while where they're going, oh, she's really good, but, oh, we didn't, but he is caught her. <laughs> it was his show. It was his show. It was his show. I know. I thought that was really funny. Yeah. Was it still called Cotter when you came over? It was called Cotter. It wasn't called Welcome Back, Cotter. It became Welcome Back, Cotter when, when John Sebastian wrote the song. Mm -hmm. That was when it became Welcome Back, Cotter. So when did you first realize you had sort of chemistry with, with, uh, with Gabe? We just did. And there was a lot of time that we didn't get along, and um, not by any doing of our own. And uh, unfortunately, there were things behind things behind the <laughs> rats, like on, on behind the scenes. Um, and but somehow, the chemistry that we had always came through, because I would get letters from you know from oh you two you're so much in love, and I would go acting. <laughs> John Lovitz, and now, but now we're very close. Oh, I hated them. Really? I hated them. Somebody asked me the other night if I remembered any of the jokes, and, and Gabe said something like, no, she spent a lot of time trying to forget them. And I did, and I got to the point, too, where I, would, I wouldn't do them in rehearsal. And I would say to him, just tell me the joke, uh, and we're doing one take, and that's it. And there were times when the joke was so bad, I would just get up and walk away. I mean, anything that I did... That none of it was rehearsed. Be, either they made me laugh or they didn't make me laugh. And then once I was having problems and for some reason I wasn't coming to set, there was something going on. And so Gabe had to do the, had to do the joke into a phone <laughs> pretending I was there. The reactions were half of what you waited for at the end. Oh, God. And you know something? It's really funny because... At the time, I hated it. I really hated it because I was so underused and um, got very, very tired of, of explaining to people why I wasn't doing more. And, but the fact of the matter is, is most, so many people liked the jokes more than they liked anything else. Had I known that then, I would have been very happy, t should have been very happy taking the money, running, doing something else during the time. You know, and I, but you know, when you're young and it's your first series, you really, you really want to be working. And I was the only woman. That was that was not easy. Yeah, how come? Well, it's just you know, you every once in a while you want another woman to go. I have my period. Who <laughs> can understand that? You know, I had the biggest dressing room because I was the only woman. I had the only dressing room that had a shower and a whole. So the boys lived in my dressing room. I never went to the bathroom alone for four years. Thank you.